What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to have a look at a new leader which is coming around. You see, I did a video about the other leaders revealed for OP02, which I'm going to be showing you shortly. This dude needs his own video. This is very, very big news. Because what we've got is simultaneously the strongest leader we've ever seen. And the highest health leader we've ever seen. But it's a skill which is both positive and negative, and this actually tells us quite a lot about the intent of the game designers moving forward. This is, without a hint of exaggeration or hyperbole, very, very, very big news indeed. Now, I'm also delighted to say... I totally translated this one all by myself. I did check with a lovely Russ Marrow over on Twitter to make sure I wasn't being a big dumb dummy, but I did actually translate this one all myself, and I'm very happy about it. So what we've got here is the debut, as a leader, of course, of Edward Newgate, which is kind of interesting, because there were, like, no Edward Newgate cards that we've seen before we got to the second set. And then, even though we've only had a handful of cards revealed from the second set, we've already seen a super rare character of Edward Newgate, and we've seen this leader. Incidentally, the Edward Newgate we saw at the super rare is both the most expensive and the most powerful of any red character we've seen so far. Now, I, I am not up on One Piece as a TV show, etc. I need to get on that. But I'm telling you now, ladies and gentlemen, this dude is huge. See, only... I'm just double-checking. No, I'm lying to you, Shanks. It is tied with Shanks. There we go. If anyone's interested, I am searching over on OnePiece-CardGame.dev, which, if you're looking to search for a particular kind of card, the most powerful things like that, phenomenal website. So we've got the Secret Rare Shanks from Romance Dawn, which is a 9 cost 10,000 power, and this is tied with it as a 9 cost 10,000 power. It's huge, ladies and gentlemen. It's absolutely huge. So, back to the leader then. What have we got? Well, we've got 6,000 power, 6 life. Now, this is really interesting. Up till now... Every single leader that we've seen in the game so far released has had 5,000 power. This is the first character that's ever deviated. In terms of the life, it's kind of interesting because we have seen some four life leaders. Specifically, the dual color red and green Trafalgar Law and the dual color red and green Monkey to Luffy and the dual color blue and purple Crocodile. And the dual color blue and purple Kaido. All of those four leaders have four life. And you've probably noticed that there is something else which is very important between them. And that is the dual color leaders. So up till now it's actually been pretty straightforward. All leaders have 5,000 power. And mono color leaders have five life. And dual color leaders have four life. And up till now, this is the way it's been. But when I'm talking through all of this with you guys constantly, I am reminding you on a very regular basis, the game is new. We don't know a huge amount about the game. We are very new in the game, and things will change quite quickly. Established norms will change. Cards that we thought were bad will become good. Cards that we thought were good will become bad, etc. Things will change pretty rapidly. That's what goes with new TCGs. So make no mistake about it, Edward Newgate might be the most powerful leader we've seen so far, and it might be the highest health leader we've seen so far, but then again, there was a point not that long ago when Monkey was the only dual colour leader we'd seen, and it turned out there were four dual colour leaders in Romance Dawn. So, I'm not saying there will be other leaders that fit this profile, you know, super powerful and super high life, etc. I'm not telling you there's going to be more of them in set two. But I absolutely am telling you that I would be stunned if we didn't see more of these moving forward. Also, it's red, so if you want to play this, your only choice is red right now. Gutted. And then what we've got is a skill that says, at the end of your turn, add the top card of your life to your hand. Now, this is both positive and negative, 
but it also puts you on a, a pretty clear clock, honestly. Because on the one hand, at the end of your turn, you get an extra card. This is, in a very real way, this is draw power. This means that you are drawing extra cards. At the end of your turn, you get to draw an extra card. And this is phenomenal. On the other hand, remember the main win condition of the One Piece TCG, which is attacking when your opponent has no life remaining. No, this will not cause you to lose the game if you have no life at the end of your turn. You don't lose the game when life would be discarded or picked up and you have no life. You lose the game when an unblocked attack comes through and you have no life. So when an attack gets through and you have no life, then you lose the game. But obviously what this is going to do pretty clearly is put you on a, a pretty stringent clock. Like by the time you've had four turns, yes, you've got six life. That is 20% more than any other leader, 50% more than dual color leaders. But the fact of the matter is this is going to run out pretty quickly. Like after four turns, you've already lost four of your six life. You're down to two remaining. And this is on the assumption that your opponent doesn't actually attack. Because if your opponent attacks and gets some attacks through, then you're going to be gone. So if you're going to play Edward Newgate, there are certain things you're going to need to do. Blockers are going to become absolutely huge. Because, yeah, sure, you've got six life. Yay, it's more than any other, etc. You're losing one at the end of every turn. And like I've said, that is good because it's draw power and it's giving you extra options. It means you've got access to more of your deck, etc. On the other hand, it means you're getting closer to losing the game every time you get to the end of your turn. So blockers are going to be absolutely huge here. So of course, one thing that you're going to want is a bunch of low color blockers so that you can stop all of these attacks going through. And the good news is that we have some of those. Tony Tony Chopper from the Red Star deck is a one cost blocker. That's quite nice. Bartolomeo from the promo deck that was given out with the movie. That is a two-cost blocker, so that's quite nice. Kobe from that same deck is a three-cost blocker. And that means we've actually got some nice low-cost options for blockers, which is good. But then do bear in mind there's also a bunch of other cards that just kind of ignore blocker. I mean, I told you Shanks as, a, as an example of a big character earlier. Remember that Shanks says your opponent cannot activate blocker on their characters at 2,000 power or less. And sure, that's a 9 cost that's not going to be coming out quickly, blah, blah, blah. The point is, the card designers aren't afraid to bring out these kind of skills to get a round blocker. And we're only going to get more of those introduced in the future. So this is something you kind of need to be aware of. So there's a few different ways to play this. Either you really need to go hard into stopping your opponent attacking with blockers, with taking out their characters, etc, etc. Or you make the ultimate rush deck. And your goal is like, look, I'm, I'm on a clock here. And make no mistake about it, playing this leader puts you on a clock. And basically what you do is you go, right, okay, fine. I am just going to try and whittle my opponent's life down super quickly. And I'm going to play hyper aggressively, probably with some low cost blockers as well, to be honest. Trying to make sure that I'm going to take out all of your life before my skill becomes a, a huge problem. I love this character. And I love the difference it shows in the game design philosophy. Up till now, a lot of the leaders have been quite similar. They've all had the same power. And several of them, you know, they've all had five life or four life, depending on whether they're single or dual color. And there's been lots of similar stuff honestly there's been lots of gain a little bit of power and get rid of one of your opponent's characters and, and just kind of fairly vanilla -y kind of stuff this is really different ladies and gentlemen this is really different and i absolutely love it is it going to be any good? We don't know. We've seen like very few cards from the second set. We have no idea if this is actually going to be a really good leader or not. But in terms of game design and in terms of the future of the game, this is hyper exciting because it represents a shift in how our leaders are going to be. And don't think we're not going to get more of these in the future. Very high power. That's good. Very high life. That's good. 
but a real double-edged sword in terms of the skill. Most leader skills are just good, and sometimes they fire and sometimes they don't, but the skills are good. Here we got a skill which can be good and can be bad, and that makes me very excited indeed. I've got my eye on this one, ladies and gentlemen. I have got my eye on it. But now I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about this leader? How good do you think this leader is? Do you think this one is going to make a bit of a difference? Let me know in the comment section. Good us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, uh, join a Discord and chat through some stuff with us. Just generally have a fairly lovely time. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.